so today we're going to talk about getting started you don't have to be great to get started but you have to get started to become great and one of the things that I learned about this this concept is like whenever I did anything and I'm gonna go specifically in the, the lane of podcasting because when I first came into this whole atmosphere I realized that I wanted to make an impact I wanted to share my words I want to use my voice to help other people so that they can be positively impacted so that they can get closer to their purpose but I didn't want to limit myself to just that room the room that I was speaking in the room that I was talking to those people in the room in which those people shared the same atmosphere that I did I wanted to go beyond that I wanted to impact people beyond wherever physical space or arena that I was in and so that reason I entered into podcasting it was just an idea I wanted to do it I didn't know how to get started I didn't know you know what an RSS feed was I didn't know what Libsyn was or a hosting platform was I didn't know you know what different aspects that were included in making a podcast I didn't know what speakers to get I didn't know any of that stuff but I had to get started because now I finished my first season, 30 episodes, and a lot of great guests, a lot of great conversations, and I'm now I'm gearing up for season two. And what I've learned is that I'm not where I want to be yet, but I'm getting closer to that because I first took the step. I first took the step that I needed to take to have that leap of faith to just know that, okay, I'm not great right now. I'm not where I want to be, but I'm getting closer to that. And whether that's po- whether that's podcasting, whether that's you know coaching, whether that's starting a business, teaching, preaching, whatever you do, whatever you want to do, you're never too young. You're never too old. But the thing is, you you're not going to be great when you first start. And even the people who that may be their gift. They may have a gift for music. They may have a gift for um, dancing. They may have a gift for sports. But to have a real skill set, you must practice over and over. You must get started, and then you must do it over and over and over and over again. Even even when you get tired of it, even when you encounter stress with that thing that you are passionate about, that thing that you love you're going to get tired it doesn't matter how many people say when you do something that you love you'll never work a day in your life no you do (laughs) you do but it's work that you enjoy it's work that is pleasing to your heart because you know at the end of the day not only have you impacted the people that you're serving whether they're you know whether you're in sports whether you're in business whether you're in education whether you're in the medical field whether in the sciences you also know that you can sleep at night knowing that you were happy about the work that you were doing. You were happy about yourself and where you spent your time, where you spent your energy. Because there's a lot of people out there who are making an impact on others, who are generating a lot of income, who are making a big impact on so many people. Yet they go home and they can't sleep at night. They don't have inner peace because what they're doing is not really what they're purpose, really purpose to do. What they're doing is not what they really are supposed to be doing. What they're what they were called to do. And so there's a lot of you out there that may have questions or skeptical, and maybe you've gone through 2020. There's so much unknown. There's so much unrest. There's so much that you don't know so much mystery in this year you know with all the deaths with all the job losses with all the foreclosures with all the things that are going on you may be wondering how do I get from point A to point B and it's getting started it's as simple as that start today pick a time and go from there because when you don't have a day we don't have a time that one day 
becomes no day. That one day becomes never. And you sit at the end of a year, two years, you know, five years, whatever. You come to the end of your life eventually because you realize that life happens so quickly. Time is moving so fast. And you come to the end of your life and you realize that, hmm, I actually do have a lot of regrets. I wish I did that. I wish I wrote that book. I wish I started that podcast. I wish I started that YouTube channel. I wish I had that conversation with that person. But now it's too late. So take the opportunity. Take the time that you have now. Because you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. We don't know what next week is going to bring. All we have is now. So get started so that you can become great, so that you can be where you want to be. I know for me, like I said, I'm not where I want to be, but I'm getting closer to that each and every single day. Whether it's a baby step today, a big step tomorrow, there, there'll be days when you feel like, man, I don't really feel productive today. I don't really feel like I impacted others today. That's natural. We're going to have that. And I think especially for us millennials, we we have a characteristic of wanting to make an impact or, or we need to just leave. Whether we're at a, you know, working somewhere or, you know, getting involved in an organization, we feel like if we're not making an impact from day one, we just got to go. And that's not what we're meant to be or we're not meant to do. And the thing is, it, you know, you have to get started, but you also have to be patient with yourself. You have to take the time to realize that this is not a sprint. This is not a short-term thing. I'm in it for the long run. When it came to podcasting for myself, I realized that I was in this for the long run. I was in this not just for this 100-meter dash. I was in this for a marathon. I was going to keep moving forward. Some days will be slower than others. Some days will be faster than others. Some days I will feel like I'm making an impact on others. Some days I won't feel like I'm making an impact on others. But regardless, I started and I'm continuing to make those steps. I'm continuing to make those strides every single moment that I can, that I have the ability, that I have time that has been given to me by God. And that's why it's so good that we should have a, a sense of gratitude when we wake up because we only have 24 hours in a day, seven days in a week. And there are people who who may have goals, who may have dreams and they may have desires, but they, they can't achieve those things because they didn't wake up. So regardless of what you're feeling, regardless of what you're going through, you have this day. If you're watching this video, you have this day, you have this time, and the time is now to get started so that you, one day, can be great. So that's all I have for you guys today. Stay tuned. We'll see you soon.